Hello YouTube, today I'm at Champion Chevrolet taking a look at this 2021 Chevy Colorado ZR2. This guy has a 3.6 liter V6 and an 8 speed automatic transmission. As you may notice, the front grille is a little bit updated for this model year with the ZR2 package. You also have the ZR2 style hood cowl. Halogen headlights with projectors are standard. Chevrolet is spelled out on the blacked out grille with your pass-through Chevy bow tie for more airflow. Red tow recovery hooks as well as a metal skid plate with the ZR2. This bumper is also giving you an increased approach angle. You can see the massive wheel and tire setup and if you look closely you can see your Multimatic DSSV front shocks on this guy. Because these wheels are a little bit, wheel and tire setup is a little bit more aggressive, they do give you an inch and a half or a two inch uh, extended fender flare. Coming to the wheel and tire setup, we have a blacked out 17 inch Chevy wheel on some Wrangler Dura tracks. And the tire size is 265-65R17. Black plastic body moldings behind the front tires to protect against rock chips. Rock sliders that are cab length. Color matched mirror caps as well as door handles. Here's a closer look at those Multimatic DSSV shocks. Pretty cool. Lots of suspension travel with this guy. Here's your ZR2 headache rack. I'll go over that a little bit more when we look at the bed. But there are your ZR2 uh, badging. Halogen taillights, again ZR2. Chevrolet is stamped into the tailgate. You have a backup camera right here. Right down here we have your seven pin and four pin connectors with black bumper. And it looks like you get a little bit better of a departure angle as well. Right over here we have your capless fuel fill port. Really cool looking rock sliders. And then the driver's side mirror has a spotter mirror, which is pretty sweet. Overall, this truck from the exterior looks extremely aggressive. And the bumper cutouts showing you more tire looks awesome. Let's take a closer look at the interior. All right, so starting over here on the left-hand side, we have your window lock and child door lock buttons all the window controls for the vehicle and then in front of that we have your mirror controls over here we have your dimmer switch for the interior lighting or the gauge cluster i should say rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle and then your rotary dial transfer case selection above that we have an integrated trailer brake controller which brings us to the instrument cluster tachometer on the left speedometer on the right various gauges up top in the middle and then a LCD screen below that. Working our way to the steering wheel, very nice soft leather wrapped steering wheel with some pretty aggressive bolsters at 10 and two. Right over here we have all the buttons for the cruise control for the vehicle. And then we have your heated steering wheel button right there indicated by a amber LED. Over on this side we have your hands-free call buttons as well as the control pad for the center LCD display. I believe this has the active fuel management as well so it will go from six cylinders to four cylinders when the conditions permit. Up top we have two storage trays coming down to the LCD display. Beautiful minimalist style LCD display with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You can also control the climate from the touchscreen as well. Your camera right here. And then this has a 4G LTE connection and I believe navigation. Yep, right down there. Very cool. 
Under that we have physical buttons for the radio. Uh, right here we have a single zone climate control with all of your physical buttons for the AC. Right here is really where this ZR2 uh, becomes known. All these buttons uh, actually are functional, which is pretty cool. There is no blank uh, space on here like there are on other trims. Starting from left to right, we have your traction control off button, rear differential lock, front differential lock, hazard lights, tow haul mode, hill descent control, and then your cargo lamp. This has heated seat and seat back for driver and passenger and a shallow storage tray right here. I have been told this is for chapstick, but uh, who knows. Two USB ports with an auxiliary jack and a 12 volt outlet and then a storage tray. Two cup holders right here. Here is your gear selector with manual plus and minus on the side. And then behind that you have a wireless charging mat. That brings us to the center armrest. Lift up on it, giving us access to some storage down in there. Leather seats for the ZR2. ZR2 is embroidered in the headrest. Glove box is gonna be right here. It's a pretty big glove box for this size of vehicle. Coming up top to the vanity, it is halogen lit for passenger as well as driver. Up top, you have some glasses storage right here, your halogen dome map lights, and your master control for the halogen dome map lights. Auto dimming rear view mirror, as well as your GM OnStar buttons. I really like the uh, interior of this vehicle. It does feel a lot bigger um, than you would assume from the outside. I love all the buttons right here, and again, being the ZR2, you, you have your rear and front locking diffs, which is awesome. Let's take a look at the back and see how much legroom we have. So getting in is real easy. These seats do fold up, giving us access to under seat storage. To fold them up, you're gonna pull this lever and pull the seats up. However, I cannot do that one-handed. To fold them down, just pull the lever and they will automatically fold down for you. Uh, they did include all-weather floor mats in this vehicle, however, they have not installed them yet. With the driver's seat situated where it would be if I was driving, I have maybe an inch or two of legroom before my knees hit the front seat. I am 5'11 for reference. No storage behind the driver's seat, however, you do get a pouch behind the passenger seat. Two USB ports as well as a 12-volt outlet, and then a little storage tray right here. Very nice, comfortable leather seats in this vehicle. This center seat does have a fold down armrest slash cup holder. And then grab handles and integrated hanger hooks on both passenger and driver's side. And then up top, you have your halogen dome map lights. The rear sliding window is not power, it is manual. You open it like that and close it like so. Let's take a closer look at the bed. So to open the tailgate on this vehicle, you're gonna come out to it like the traditional way and pull on the lever. It is assisted, which is very nice. This one does have a spray in bed liner from the factory. Four tie down points total, one in each of the four corners. And then ZR2 is actually stamped into the tailgate or the bed, I should say. And then the roof rack, or not roof rack, the headache rack. Baja style rack right here. Does have a third brake light up top so you are compliant. And you can tie things to the sides giving you more tie down points. Uh, this is extremely light. I can take it with two fingers and slam it shut. Let's take a quick look at the window sticker. So here's a window sticker for this vehicle. Again, that's a 2021 Colorado ZR2 Crew Cab the exterior color of cherry red tint coat, 3.6 liter V6 and an eight speed automatic transmission. Standard equipment's gonna be all right here, transferring over onto this page for a standard vehicle price of $43,200. Your optional equipment is going to be right here. Most notably, you have the ZR2 Dusk Special Edition for $3,215 for a total vehicle price of $48,145. 
Fuel economy rating is right here. This vehicle is rated at 16 miles per gallon city, 18 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 17 miles per gallon. I wanna give Champion Chevrolet a huge thank you and shout out for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in this vehicle specifically or any of the 2021 Colorado lineup, I will be posting all the contact info in the description below. Uh, get in contact with John Cook, let him know you saw the YouTube video and he will be more than happy to go over all the discounts, rebates, and incentives you qualify for. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And in the comment section below, tell me what your favorite feature of this vehicle is and why. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.